Eredin Fanzon. Dog Lug Boy Slug. Little Dog loved chips, baked beans. He loved pizza and pies, but he hated his greens. Mom tried to tell Dog Lug he was wrong. Eat all your greens, and you will grow big and strong. You can't go play till that plate is all finished. I'm off to go to the garden to water my spinach. There was only one thing that annoyed Mrs. Lug, and that was the sight of a slimy, fat slug. I just can't believe it, she said. What a pain! They're eating my plants in my garden again! A friendly old gardener was just passing by. He said, here's powder for slugs. You can try. It makes them feel funny. They hate it. I found if you sprinkle a tiny bit over the ground, the best time to use it is six in the morning. It'll sort out your problem. But with one little warning. It's powerful powder. Don't touch it yourself. Please keep it safe on a very high shelf. That night, little dog wanted something to drink. So we crept to the kitchen and went to the sink. But he tripped in the dark at the edge of a rug and the powder tripped over and fell onto Doug. What a very strange powder. It tickles, Doug cried, and it's making me feel a bit funny inside. He felt himself changing and then cried, <coughs> as his skin started turning all slimy and sleek. It took 30 seconds for little Doug to change from a boy to a massive gray slug. I'm hungry, said Doug slipping over the floor and using his slug tail to open the door. He slid down the path to the vegetable garden and said to the slugs, there I do beg your pardon. It's been quite a while since I had my last tea. So is there a nice juicy cabbage for me? But as soon as the other slugs saw that great beast, they turned around in terror and fled from their feast. They slithered away just as fast as they could to a nice slimy swamp far away in the wood. Doug said, I know, I'll find much more to eat if I go to the shop at the end of the street. He found the back door of the shop open wide. That's lucky, thought Doug, as he slithered inside. He slipped past the cookies and the cakes and the sweets, the tarts and the ice creams and all kinds of treats. Then he came to the vegetables pile after pile and started to gobble them all up with a smile. Cabbages, spinach, and broccoli too. Nothing was left by the time he was through. Then Doug heard a sound. I hear footsteps! He cried, they're coming this way! I need somewhere to hide. The footsteps were made by a robber named Jack, who was just sneaking out with a sack on his back. The robber had almost crept out of the store when he saw a strange shadow quite close to the door. Yikes, thought Jack. I've got a weird feeling the shadow was coming from up on the ceiling. A monster! So Jack, as he started to dash back through the shop with a big sack 
of cash. He smashed the front door and he hadn't run for when he saw the police driving up in their car. Hey! cried the officers, holding Jack tight. It's you who've, who's been robbing the shops every night. Arrest me, said Jack. I don't really care. As long as I'm safe from that creature in there. A great monster slug thing. Look, there's its trail. At least I'll be safe if you put me in jail. Well, they followed the slime trail to see where it led. But only found Doug safely tucked up in bed. Look, said the surgeon, it's just little Doug. Jack was pretending there's no monster slug. The police were all pleased that the robbing had ended. The next day at lunch, Mrs. Lug said, How splendid! That powder has vanished! It's really quite weird, but so have the slugs. They all have disappeared. But Doug Lug just smiled as he happily ate all the broccoli, spinach, and sprouts on his plate.